Here's a little behind the mock for the dystopian zoo. <laughs> Hello, I am working on an idea here, and it is to have this condensed zoo stackable. And I had a different thought um, with Steve before, but this is a stackable and a staircase design. And let me show you what I'm talking about, because you might not know, and I'm not sure if I know. But the idea is to have these stackable and will slide out. So right now, this doesn't do any good. You can't, it adds too much darkness to the bottom. I'm taking these girders. And there's a couple steps I need to do. So I have these little, for now, this is just a test run. But I'm putting these little sliders on the bottom. And I want to redesign this. But for now, this is to show you the idea. I put this up here. It slides on the tiles nice. And then I add these girders in here, one on each side. The problem I'm thinking is how to make these more secure to the base here. So as we do this, now we have two. And what you can do at night, the zoo closes up. But during the day, as I break the girder, I slide it back like this, and I have no stopper yet, but I stop it right about there. You can see that now we have two, and I can add a third one, which I'll show you in a moment. But this is a way to have stairs up the side. The visitors can go across the front of this one, take a look at this animal, and from the back as well. It's a work in progress. And let's add a third level. And there we have three levels. And again, there's some girders here, and it's rather unsteady right now, so I don't want to slide it too much. One of the thoughts is to have this one by two here surround all the way at the bottom. It'll bring up the height of each one of these boxes, but it will then allow these sliding one by, or these two by two hinge pieces, or whatever they're called. I don't even know what they're called. Brackets, two by two brackets, one by two brackets. Don't know. But anyway, they're right here, and maybe one on the back and the front, to give a little more security and be able to collapse this zoo up. And let's see if I can do this without destroying it. I slide this one in together to the front one, to the second one, and then slide this one in. Oh, if I have to do it by the legs, maybe that'll be better. And there you have it. It's the collapsible zoo. It will only go back three at this point because I run out of space, and even the third one's not further enough back. I might need to add a, another plate back here to get it just back a little bit further. And one really cool part I want to show you is the back side that not only is this economizing or maximizing space, but let's show you what the back side looks like. And there you can see the back. And what this creates also is that all of this space here can be used as usable space. And since there isn't a lot of space, I'll mention it a lot because this is a zoo. The whole point of this zoo is to maximize space because there isn't a lot. So what we can put there is maybe an area for food or water, some sort of park area, something to replenish themselves or just relax when they're not viewing the animals. Because there is a lot of stairs in this zoo. There'll be stairs going up both sides of this and platforms going across, hopefully on both sides if I can figure this out. And that's going to make the patrons really tired. I know I'd be tired climbing up the stairs. And if I go four levels, that's even worse. There'll probably be three, three sets of these, so three base plates wide with nine enclosures, maybe more, not sure yet. But I'm working on it and so far it's been pretty fun. Now the process is how do I get this to be a little less wobbly. I'm adding these tracks here, thinking that having it slide in that is one possibility. But, I don't want to break this on camera, um, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't think me holding them is a viable option for stacking them. That would not be easy, and I can only hold so many of them. Probably two, maybe three if I pull in the crook of my arm there. But I'm sure I dropped them at one point. But this is a fun build, and this design behind the scenes is, is fun, although it can be frustrating as well, just to get it worked the way I want to. But I thought I'd give you a little insight to how I designed this, and hopefully it comes into a working project, a working build, because I don't have a lot of time left for Philly Breakfast, which is coming up in a month and a half or less. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which is on the third Thursdays of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? I wanted to use this one to show you. I have an idea, but I need to do it quickly so I don't waste too much time. I think it'll work. How quick are you taking that on my face, buddy? Oh, I'm running the camera. Oh, you're running the camera? Yeah, I can't do that. Oh. <laughs>
Well, the table was clean. <laughs>